Now let's talk screen share. I'm gonna go ahead, very simple, but a couple really cool tips to show you that not a lot of people do. So when you are leading a Zoom call, let's say you're leading a group of people, you have a presentation for them, you wanna show them some slides that you've created, you're simply going to share your screen. You have a few different options. You can actually share your phone. As long as your phone is plugged into your computer, you can go ahead and share that. You can share the desktop. Um, something that I typically do is just, uh, oh, or you can share a specific file. But for the most part, most people will just share their desktop simply. So once you have uh, whatever setting you wanna share in, um, you do see a couple features down here. I typically don't, click these unless I know that I'm recording. If I'm recording a webinar and I'm sharing my screen, you definitely wanna optimize for video clip. What this does is this enlarges the screen so it just fills up more space. It makes it look nicer. You won't see any of this background clutter. Um, so anyway, boop. I'm just gonna show you a couple very cool things. So I'm now sharing my screen. So you're seeing what I'm seeing and I'm seeing what you're seeing. This is my screen. So when you are sharing your screen, there's this kind of annoying bar that comes up and um, you'll notice that it takes up a lot of my real estate it can't necessarily open a new tab without moving this um, so something that I don't think enough people talk about is actually hiding this bar something that you should do is click more the three symbols right here and I want you to hide floating meeting controls now you see here, it says simply press escape to show your meeting controls again, but voila, once you actually select that hide meeting controls, that bar goes away and that's a really powerful way to make everything look cleaner, something that I don't see a lot of people share. So let's go ahead and bring that back. I've just hit the escape key and here are my options again. A couple more things that are really, really important to know about screen share is let's just say you have to access a document and it's sitting on your desktop and you don't want people to see all the clutter. So if I didn't know that this pause share was here, here's what that might look like. I would move this aside. I might feel kind of embarrassed that my boss is looking at my screen and then I would open up the thing that I wanna share. Um, and then there it is. So everyone is still staring at my screen just like you are. But I don't necessarily want the whole company or my clients to look at my screen. So something I will do is hit pause share. Now, um, the screen is paused, which means the person on the other side cannot see what I'm doing on the background, uh, on the back end. This pause is actually very important. Um, so your boss or your colleagues won't see when this is paused. All they see is this zoom like this. It's basically like the video has taken a screenshot and all they'll see is this desktop view. What they won't see is that you're moving this around, you're looking for different documents, you're clicking through different files. They will not see any of this. They will not see any of this movement that you're seeing right now. The only reason you're seeing this is because um, I'm filming this so you can see it from my point of view. But this pause, really, really important. And then once you find the document that you need or your notes or whatever, and you're ready to, to, to resume screen share, you just simply hit resume and Honestly, they'll be none the wiser. They won't even know exactly what it is that you found. They won't know that you went digging through different files. And so that's a really cool feature too. And then the other feature I like a lot is this annotate. Um, so let's say you do have uh, something that is important that you need people to really pay attention to. There are a couple different ways that you can draw their attention to your screen. Number one, I think the stamp feature is really cool. So if I wanted to tell you like, hey guys, right now I need you to click on schedule a meeting. There it is. Um, that's a very cool one. If you wanted to erase something, you simply get rid of that. Uh, another one that's also pretty cool is spotlight. So for these features, all your participants will have access. Um, if for some reason I said initially in a meeting, hey, I wanna, you know, I'm gonna be in charge of scheduling X, Y, Z, and then somebody else in your call says, you know what, I wanna be in charge of that instead. You can always X yourself out.